Now, where were we? Uh, the question is, of course, one and two stand part. I call the Honourable Member Grant Robertson, thank you, Mr. the Deputy Ch Leader of the Labour Party. Thank, thank you, Mr Chair, and thank you for recognising and remembering that. Um, Mr Chair, I am currently looking uh, at, in this contribution, at Clause 1, which is the title clause. I would intend to uh, come back and perhaps make a further contribution on the uh, commencement date, because there's a lot to say about that. But on the question of the title, Mr Chair, this goes to uh, an important matter around this bill that the Labour Party has been raising during this debate. It is currently called the Customs and Excise Brackets Budget Measures Motor Spirits Amendment Bill. And that simply, Mr Chair, won't do, because it does not accurately describe the purpose of this bill. There's one thing in here that's accurate, and that's the word budget because this is about the budget for the National Party. It's about trying to justify or trying to make claim to getting the books into surplus. And as has been established in earlier stages of this debate, we have not heard from the government a true justification of their surplus beyond how they have fiddled and fudged with the books. So, Mr Chair, I would argue that a more accurate title for this bill would be the Customs and Excise Fake Surplus Bill, because that's actually what it is. It is about a piece of legislation that contributes to, along with raising petrol taxes in this bill, ACC levies, the other tax changes that have been made by this government that have benefited the uh, top 10 per cent of income earners, all of those things have contributed to the fact that this government is now claiming a surplus, a wafer-thin margin of error level surplus that they will get as a result of increasing petrol taxes, increasing ACC levies, and some magic numbers that appear in the budget in the 2014, 15 and 2015, 16 years. Magic figures of $400 million here, $1.1 billion from corporate tax that suddenly disappears again uh, a year or so later. This is a fake surplus, Mr. Uh, Mr Chair, and that's why this bill should be called the Customs and Excise Fake Surplus Bill. It also, Mr Chair, could be called the Customs and Excise bogus budget balance bill. I like that. Alliteration's good. I think it makes law interesting if we can have alliteration. And it is a bogus budget balance, Mr, Mr. Chair, when, when one has to take into account this range of uh, other things that are contributing to the surplus other than actually growing the economy, creating jobs, doing the kinds of things that we'd like to see in a budget. And it is bogus, Mr. Mr. Chair, to see it here. I do also want to refer to another title that could be put in place for this bill, which would actually argue that this is the Customs and Excise, and there are a number of options here, but, but I think the Customs and Excise Roads of Political Significance bill is probably the most accurate, because if we are to take the government at their word that this bill is about the National uh, Land Transport Fund and getting the money there, well, you would be stupid, Mr Mallard, but for now, let's pretend we're stupid. That may not be too difficult for you, so we'll see how we go, but let's pretend that we're stupid and say, actually, this is, a time, this is a time in which the government says, yes, we need this money for the National Land Transport Fund. But what's that for? It's quite simply for the government's political choices about where they believe roading should go. And we've established already on this side of the House, without any response from the other side of the House, I might add, that this is the end result of the government's decision, of the National Party's decision, when in opposition, to adopt a roading policy that wasn't about what was best for the transport infrastructure of New Zealand, but was simply about what was best for them electorally. That's what Don Brash and Morris Williamson cooked up. That's what John Key took on from that, and Morris Williamson paraded around the country and promoted it as well. That's what Jerry Brownlee has accepted now. These roads of significance to national, or roads of political significance, that should be mentioned in the title, Mr Chair, because that would be a more accurate reflection of what has actually been put in front of this House today. To simply call it something benign like the Budget Measures Motor Spirits Bill does not actually capture what this is. In fact, if they really just wanted to go down that path, it should be called Raising Petrol Taxes. And we haven't heard throughout this debate 
an honest contribution from the National Party members to say, actually, we're raising taxes. That's what we're doing. Now, there's a reason for that, because we could also call it the Customs and Excise Breaking Nationals Promises Again Bill, because they promised not to raise taxes. They went around the country promising not to raise taxes, and yet that's precisely what this bill does. And, Mr Chair, we have been through a lot of legislation over the last few days in this House, and the contributions of National MPs have been non-existent. National MPs have simply not got up and been prepared to justify, prepared to say to their constituents, yep, we're raising taxes. We are putting taxes up. We are taking money out of your pockets because we want to come up with a bogus surplus. That would be honest if the National Party MP stood up and said that. That would be an honest title for this bill, but we have not heard that, Mr Chair. Um, I'm going to call um, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr. Oh. Chair. The pleasure to take a call. Mm -hmm.